Haley, I guess I should start with uh, congratulations on a, an amazing career. Um, what's this been like, kind of ending things and saying goodbye to the playing side of hockey? Yeah, it's been uh, definitely an emotional last few days for sure. I, it feels a little bit like a funeral and a graduation all at the same time, where you've got the mixed emotions. Uh, you know, play, when you play for 23 years, there's a lot that goes into it. and. Just, you know, the, I think I reflect on the people that I've had a chance to be around in the game and, and all the messages that are coming in from even teammates I haven't heard from in years that, you know, want to say congratulations. So um, mostly the, the emotion that I have is a lot of gratitude because I just think everything I have in my life is because of the game. And, uh, and I feel, you know, really grateful and excited to the, move on to the next adventure, whatever that might be. Well, when a great hockey player retires, a lot of people ask them, uh when did you know the time was right? How did that come about for you? Yeah, I don't know if you ever really know exactly, but I had been thinking about, obviously as a female player, you come into the game and you're already thinking about what you're going to do when you leave it because you don't make the millions of dollars. And so uh, I think I was the last one in the national team to get my master's degree, get, to get a, a bachelor's degree and then a master's degree. And, uh, and I always have wanted to go into medical school. And so it was a, a timing thing where it was something I couldn't put off anymore. And, I wanted to pursue uh, along with other hockey opportunities that have come forward so it's just been uh, a bit of a whirlwind here but I think the timing is right um, as good as it can be and uh, it'll be a new journey now going into medicine. I have to ask you uh, I mean this has probably been asked a million times to you since the announcement was made but to you what was the biggest accomplishment what was the most special moment in your career and you've had a ton of them yeah. legitimately a ton but when you look back what just stands out right at the top of your mind? I'd say probably like four moments. Uh, the first was uh, winning a gold medal with the Canada Winter Games with Team Alberta when I was 12 uh, in 1991. It was my first foray onto anything legitimate in hockey and sort of big at that point in your life. Uh, and then, you know, the, the, the win in Salt Lake City was incredible, the way that we kind of had to battle through the, the roughing 28 minutes and penalties. Yeah. And, went against all odds and the men were having the same sort of problems too there so that was quite a quite quite an olympics um vancouver in 2010 and winning on home soil winning in canada it's really hard to do and it doesn't come along very often so that stands out and then finally uh the miracle on ice game in sochi was quite a come from maybe the best comeback in olympic hockey history male or female ever and a game that you know people still talk about to this day well for good reason uh when you hear the term legacy do you think of that and, and what you might have created and, and done in your career? Does that come to mind at all? I do think about it a little bit now because people are talking about it. And I think about, you know, all the years and all that I've really tried to do is play the game as hard as I could and leave a mark with people who watched who would say, now that's a hockey player. And I think for me, the greatest compliment I can get is when I walk into a mall or an airport and a big burly guy will come up to me and say, we're Haley Wickenheiser, and I'll say, yeah, and he'll say, well, I really like watching you guys play, and sometimes I'll get, I'll get where they'll say, even more than the men, and so that's, uh, that's always when you know you kind of uh, have made it and crossed that barrier. Do you ever think about what you've done for women's hockey and little girls that are kind of climbing the ladder right now? Canadian Tire Wickenheiser International Female Hockey Festival, big long name, but it's um, my legacy project. I started it uh, eight years ago now and we're going into our eighth year at Windsport in Calgary. It happens every November and we have um, 3,000 kids that come from novice through midget in every division from around the world. We've had teams from Mexico, Finland, Czech Republic and all across Canada and the U.S. And really what it is, is it's a celebration of the game and more than just a hockey tournament where the girls get four game guarantee, uh, but they also get to sign up for off ice sessions, uh, learning things like mental training and fitness and nutrition and education. And we bring in Olympic athletes from all different sports to work with them and to teach them. So it's um, something I wanted to do. I thought about later in my career of how do I keep a legacy for the game? And uh, that's it. <laughs> You mentioned uh, medical school. Uh, I know this is a big moment right now, but yeah, that and fu future Haley Wickenheiser, what do you foresee for yourself uh, going forward and kind of separating yourself somewhat from the game? Because I think you're stuck to the game forever for the rest of your life. Yeah, I think, um, you know, you, you may, may have to get away from it for a little bit just to take a bit of a mental break, but I do see myself staying in the game at some, in some capacity. I, I love the idea of maybe working with an NHL team at some point and 
Um, working with players at that level, uh, I think I could have a lot to offer in just through my experiences and what I've done. Um, and also medicine and maybe blend the two together. Um, but at this point, I guess it's still pretty fresh, so I'll kind of weigh all the opportunities that come my way and see where we go from there. Um, but yeah, the game is, I think, always in you when you've played for this long. What do you think tonight's going to be like and what's it going to mean to you? Well, this is I, I, the greatest honor of my life is playing for Canada and probably the second greatest honor is to be able to do it here in Edmonton because people in Edmonton may not know, but the Oilers, I, breathe, I slept and breathed and dreamt of playing for them in the 80s and Wayne and Mark and everyone involved and they really had a big mark on my life and my career in hockey and so uh, to be able to come here and do it on this ice and this beautiful rink with the Flames here as well because they've also had a pretty big impact. I'm pretty close to some of those guys as well. So it just seems like a fitting night to do it in, in Western Canada where I'm from. Haley, congratulations on a, a tremendous, tremendous career. Thank you so much for doing this. Okay, thanks a lot for having me.